Good morning, it is Tuesday. Today we are pouring a garage floor, which is 24 by 24, and then just a partial driveway it comes out about 17 foot from the garage. Uh, so we're gonna knock that out this morning. I have a couple shout outs. One is from Tony from New Jersey. Thank you for the gift, man. Tony noticed that I make a lot of garbage even in my truck. So he bought me a garbage can for my truck. Thank you, Tony. That's awesome. And then uh, I can't find your message. I read a whole bunch of messages last night. I don't know why this one stuck out to me. And I actually remember your names and where you're from. Uh, congratulations to Ryan and Danielle. And I know you're from Ohio. And I know you're getting married October 20-something. Uh, I think that's right. I apologize. I, I look for it again this morning. I cannot find the message, but I believe that is correct. So congratulations. Uh, I hope you guys all the best uh, in your marriage. So I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. You need some help with that? Yeah, I'd like to stick it in one. You got one? <laughs> How's it going, man? Good. 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 You're all set. Thank, Have a great day. Thank yep. you. See you soon. That's good. Trust and the no nonsense perspective of an honest man. It's Jay Weber. Weekday morning, 6 to 9. All right, it's 6.05. Just pulling into the yard. Bugs is right behind me. Bobby is here already and that's it. I'm pretty early this morning, so we'll see what happens. We need anything or no? Nope, we're set. I got those strips. Alright. What's Bobby doing here? He slept here last night so he could get those hours. <laughs> right, I'm on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Everybody's late today except for Bugs. Bob's not even working today. Bugs the only one here on time. Where, where are you at? You ran out of gas. You ran out of gas again. Are you serious? My gas gauge don't work. It really don't feel good anyway. So. What does that have to do with you running out of gas? It's <laughs> <Don't laughs> a nice, nice try. No, it is. So I just get to the freeway and head Who's that? Daryl. He's going to the job because he's late. Eric's almost here. And where's Francisco? Did you see this? It's just from spilling. Grass seed. Oh, wow. Like, I can't even get grass to That's grow in my yard. It's and it's growing in a foot of gravel. <laughs> I'm not going to go to him. It's a Yeah, Bob, I won't want you driving at night. You can't even see in the day. Come on. Yeah, I, I don't want back in that place that night. We got a big removal tomorrow. I'll need you all day. Germantown and it's a big one too all right Bugs is leaving Francisco sitting in the truck sleeping and we're waiting on Eric all right everybody was doing good uh, everybody's been beating me to work but not today uh, Bugs was here on time Francisco was a couple minutes late Eric is still not here and it's almost 6 30 still waiting on him Daryl was late so he called me and he's gonna drive straight to the job and Daryl Jr. is sick today, so just waiting on Eric. Come on. Adam. Hey Adam, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. I have an eight o'clock. Seven bag, low chert air, microfiber, uh, five inch slump. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Yes. Hey Ryan, Barry just got here, but the turtle won't turn on. I'll come back. All right. What happened? Why are you late? For real. You got four alarm clocks. Here. What happened? I don't sleep. Just give it a minute, Eric. Give it a minute, please. Oh, I see it. Okay. All right, try it. Oh, 
You didn't have it in park, bro. That's, it wasn't even dead. He didn't have it in park. Did he have it? He didn't have the truck in park. It wasn't even dead, dude. Uh, but don't start unless it's in park. All right, now we're finally leaving the yard. All right, let's roll, finally. All right, so I'm getting closer to the job and it is raining harder and harder. I'm gonna call and see if they loaded my trucks yet. If not, uh, I am going to only pour the garage floor, which is covered. This makes me too nervous. I just can't risk that outside concrete. Ready, Mix is Adam. Adam, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. It's raining out where I am, uh, so I'm gonna change that order a little bit. I'm gonna still pour. Um, just knock it down to 11 yards. He ran out of gas, so how'd you get here? Because they put gas in and then came up here. Yeah, I, I did. Look at my gas gauge. Huh? It doesn't work. Good morning. <laughs> the kid was like, this guy is weird. They were talking this was gonna clear up by five in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. But it didn't clear up yet. I had all the concrete ordered. You canceled the I canceled the outside concrete, yeah. And then at noon we'll pour the outside concrete if the weather clears up by then, which hopefully it will. Look what Daryl gave me. A sandwich. A sandwich. He was late today, but he still has a job. We're only pouring the garage this morning because it's inside. And then at 12, I got this ordered if it clears up. Hopefully we'll still be able to get it done today. They said just cloudy today, but it's still drizzling, so... Yeah. Oh, Maggie. Maggie, why are you so excited? You're getting all dirty too. Now look at you. Oh. Now we gotta wash. It's that time of year. My favorite time of year. In the yard. Oh Eric, I got something for you. <clears throat> that was the third one. Come with me. I seriously I can't believe you were late with four alarm clocks. It's the last one, bro. Another sonic bomb. <laughs> Another sonic bomb okay. from the viewers. Honestly. They got another one. I can put one for sonic. Honestly. Yeah, I am glad I canceled that outside concrete because it is raining officially. Concrete. Showtime. What is it? Oh, yeah. Nice. Morning. Morning. Why are you late? All right, first truck is empty. Second truck should be here any minute. I'm gonna close up a little bit that we got poured, which is about half, a little bit more than half. What's with that shirt, for real? Where's the Victory Style shirt? It's camera, too. I'm a camera man. I'm my camera. I'm my channel. And you're advertising for somebody else. 
Wow. Man, where's our concrete truck? They shouldn't send the first one out until the second one's ready to get loaded. Man, it's so humid out. My glasses are fogging up. It's so strange for mid-October, man. Waiting, waiting. Man, it's been like a good 15, 20 minutes already. Yeah. That's fine, I'll take a look. Stop it. Are you hoping it's gonna move itself over there? Yeah. You are? I'm just checking. That looks good, Bugs. That's perfect. Look at that seal. Yep, looks nice. Yeah. You guys can move this plywood and put the mesh in there. We'll get this one ready to go. All right, so we just poured the garage floor. And uh, as you saw, that went really well. It's pretty easy. The second truck was a little late. It was about 20, 25 minutes um, late beyond when it was supposed to be here, but it really wasn't a big deal. Uh, concrete's pretty wet. So the drizzle, is it's still drizzling just a little bit i really hope it dries up today because i don't want to come back here just to pour this little thing uh because we're pretty far out in waukesha we're like 25 minutes away from the shop which is about as far as i like to go okay sounds good all right thank you yep bye. I, 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 what are you doing man Man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. I locked my keys in my truck. I know you run out of gas. You lock your keys in the car. Uh, what else did you do today? You made bugs mad by doing something. Oh, because I got concrete. <laughs> oh, you were spraying bugs sweatshirt with water. No, yes, you were. I saw you. Oh, Something is wrong with days. you. It's an off day. He's been yelling at somebody. <laughs> I know. I heard him. Francisco's fighting with somebody on the phone. Are you taking over for Daryl with the hose? Yeah. He's <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Daryl usually spends about two to three hours with the hose every time we pour. He does. How do you like this mower? I just bought one, brand new. Best. You think they're the best? Yeah. The thing that I was most impressed with this thing is how it dispersed the clippings compared to my Gravely. Oh yeah. My Gravely yeah. chunked everything. No. This yeah. thing, it like really sprayed it out nice. Yeah, I just thought I'd ask you since you look like you've been on it for a while. Oh, I love it. I'm yeah, just... that's awesome. Is this your business? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What do you call yourself? Woodstock Properties. Man. Woodstock this, Properties? I mean, this is my 37th year. I've been here 37 for, years? 37 years. Wow. Been... Well, cool, man. Well, good talking with you. All right. What was your name? Linus. Linus, I'm Ryan. Ryan, nice yeah. to meet you. I don't know. Bobby missed something he was supposed to do. Bobby's in trouble with the law. Well, Bobby's a gangster. You guys didn't even know. Wait, that's why he switched cars, huh? Yeah, that's why he, yeah, that's why he keeps switching vehicles. All the time. Yep. He'll park one and take the other. 
be there at the shop at one spot and then it just takes off. And... Yeah, then he just parks it somewhere else. <laughs> he knows when they get hot on his trail. Yeah? Yeah. And he's gone. It's amazing what you can do with the editing. Yeah. You can make some really bad work look super nice. <laughs> and then if you notice like my last interview, like I never really show the job close up. Yeah. I just like real quick, like look at my center joint, like really fast and then I leave. I'm like look at this nice work we did. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> They've seen your work. Yeah. Well, the thing is, honestly, like, things used to be different back in the day where people weren't on the internet as much. Oh. If you're a contractor that does, like, shoddy work, uh -huh. you're done. You're going to be all over the internet. You got Google reviews. You got oh, the yeah. neighborhood apps. I mean, news spreads super fast. Exactly. And honestly, like, people that hire um shoddy contractors and they get bad work they have absolutely no excuse exactly. because they could have took five minutes to look up their reputation on the internet and it would have told them everything they needed to know yep. so that's that's just the way it is when people send me pictures and stuff of bad work that they got i mean there are exceptions obviously where people have a good reputation and something goes wrong on the job there are exceptions but yeah. for the most part generally speaking it's pretty easy to find out the type of work that a contractor does. Oh, yeah. So it literally takes five minutes on the internet. You sit down, you look them up a few different places, bam, 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 you read some reviews, and there you go. And they're pretty well accurate, too. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of people, they see that price, you know, and they, oh, this guy is cheaper. I can save a grand on this job. Yeah, yeah you save a grand, and then what? Then you're, then you're all upset because your job looks bad and you're posting pictures on Facebook and, oh, look at the bad job I, I got. Most of the time, nobody's going to feel sorry for you. And I really don't feel sorry for the people. Like I said, there is exceptions, but generally speaking, it's their own fault. Not a single person sent me no video of them moonwalking yet. No. No. Nobody knows how to moonwalk? Must be too old school. Michael Jackson's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Video? Yeah, while I was backing up with the joiner. Yeah. I told him it was a secret of straight joints. <laughs> yeah. You need to mag them marks out as you go out. Just mag them because you're going to have a hard time with them later. You guys getting recognized all over the place? Yeah, I went to Home Depot on Saturday. Yeah. And one of the guys that, is, that say pro or something, he was over here, victory! Like really <laughs> loud and it was like barely opening. And I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, can we take a picture? Yesterday, literally, he only worked for like five minutes. He took the really? buggy down. He said hi to the he people. Took, he took, yeah, he, well, yeah, he said hi to the, to the people. He took the buggy down and that's it. That's it, we didn't see him no more. Because he was leaning on the fender and then he got tired out from that and then, he went and, took, <laughs> and then he went and took a nap in the truck right after that. Like, leaning on the fender wore him out yesterday. Yeah. It did, it more did. Fender, Come on, man, I want to just get this done. I'm going to call and see what's going on. Hey, Tom, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. Hey, is my truck on the way? Because my guys are playing baseball right now on the clock. Could you give it a check for me? Where are you, sir? Waukesha. It is on its way, yes, sir. All right, thanks. You bet. So about five minutes? He's just leaving the yard, so oh, it's okay. a little bit longer than that. So. All right, all right, thanks. It's on its way. Okay, bye. You bet. Every, every time you guys throw the ball, I see a quarter disappearing out of my wallet. It's like ching. <laughs> now I'm paying you guys to play basketball. <laughs> oh. Basically paying you like a quarter a shot. 
This is terrible. And look at and look at Daryl, the best worker. He's cleaning up and he's making a mess at the same time. Look at he's dripping all down the driveway. I'll we'll see your best dunk. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is. <laughs> and he missed. I'm gonna put that in slow motion. Look at how high the rim is. He didn't even got a jump. <laughs> you were all proud until I showed him how, yeah. how high the rim was. 1241. Still waiting on concrete. My 12 o'clock concrete, that is. Finally! How's it going? Some of the drivers are off today. That's why everybody's late. You working third shift? Some guys working third shift, that's yeah. why? That's the answer. That's what I thought. There's only six of you? Yeah. Oh, man. Hi, Junior. Yeah, we miss you too, Junior, because your dad, he's not you. I'll just leave it at that. Your side. Good job on almost pulling the wire. I mean, I could tell you were thinking about it, you know, but it was a fail. Eric, can you give me a come along? That way I can puddle for myself. Thank you. Did you say that way you can puddle? Yeah. You can go back and play with the holes. It's cool, man. It's all good. All right, we just dumped that concrete right there. It was very intense, as you can tell by the music. All six yards. So it was like one yard per person here. That was intense, hey, Eric? Man. All right, I'm gonna go check on the guys, see how they're doing. You guys need me to jump out there? Yeah, yeah. very much, man. I said, when you get older, all you'll have left is your Facebook friends and they ain't even your real friends. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I'm gonna leave you here for a little bit to broom this, man. I got so much stuff to do. You think you can handle brooming all nine of these squares? Like by yourself with Francisco? You sure? Because it's literally like if you broom that in the next 10 minutes, it will fill that joint right in. You're going to have to wait like 20, 30 minutes. Are you nervous? <laughs> thank you. Because <laughs> he's going to push you like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you in the morning. All right. All right. We're done on the job site. I'm leaving Easy E and Francisco to broom this. I got to go. I got too much stuff to do. It's too wet to broom right now. It's gonna be like 20 minutes, but oh, I gotta go. So tomorrow, we got a nice big job to start. Big driveway, front sidewalk, uh, very nice people. They're very excited to have us there, which is cool. It's always, it's always a lot of fun when your customers are a lot of fun. It just makes the job much more enjoyable. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Mike and Sandra uh, coming over tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys next time. Adios.